Hi, my name is Laura. Welcome to Jimra. Today we're going to do yoga for runners. So we're going to work on hamstrings, hips, inner thighs, and a little bit of shoulder opening. If you have a towel or a t-shirt, super helpful, right? Because those hamstrings get tight and we're going to use it. So start on all fours. My favorite, low lunge. Step your right foot forward. And you can just keep your hands on the ground to start, right? Now think about pulling that left hip forward faster than the right hip, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So pull those hips forward. Now with your back knee down, it's okay to let your front knee come a little further forward of the ankle, right? So you don't have to be way back here. If it's available, let those hips slide forward. Stretch your hip flexor and your quadricep, which gets super tight from running. Stay here for just one more breath, in and out through the nose. So if you take some good deep breaths, that's gonna help your muscles relax and start to open. Okay. Now slide your left knee back a little bit. We're coming into a hamstring stretch. And if you have a towel, you might pad up your knee, right? Give it a little padding if you have sensitive knees. Straighten your right leg and flex your right foot up towards the ceiling. Now this, these stretches are best to do right after your run. When your body's warm, right, to stretch those muscles out right away, you'll get a deeper stretch and you won't be as sore and tight, right? I know I get really, really, really sore from running. I have a love-hate relationship <laughs> with running. I love to hate it. <laughs> so flex your right foot up towards the ceiling to start. And now, if your hand can find your foot, Pull the toes up towards you. Big stretch for your calf, bonus calf stretch. Okay, now release that and point your toe. Stretch the top of your foot and the top of your shin. Point, 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 like you're trying to plant your foot down on the ground. Point, point, point. So now we're feeling it through the top here. And one more time, flex your right foot. Get that hamstring stretch. Now, if your hands don't find the ground, that's good. You, that's totally fine. You can just put your hands up on a chair or a table or a wall or something, right? Just work with what you got. Bend your knee, step it all the way back, and we're going right into our second side. Step your left foot forward and just drive the hips forward. So once again, it's okay to let the front knee come forward because you don't have as much weight on the leg, right? Like in a squat or in a lunge, I know you want to keep those knees back but now we've got the back knee down, so you're safe. Think about pulling this right hip forward more so. Stretch the front of the thigh. Feel a little reach and lengthen through the chest and through the spine. Once again, if you're breathing nice and deep as runners, you know the breath is super important, right? The breath is what carries you through the run. Gotta take those deep breaths, same thing when we stretch, right? Your body needs to get the message that it's safe, it's okay, and then it can start to open up. All right, slide your right knee back a little bit, straighten your left leg, hamstring stretch. Okay, so this side's a lot tighter for me personally, my left side. So just be patient, know your sides might be a little bit different. And instead of just kind of sinking down here, right, to keep that hamstring really safe and actually get a better stretch and more movement over time, I want your hips nice and even, right? So your back is even, your pelvis and your hips are nice and even. And again, instead of trying to really round your back, I want nice length. So reach out through your chest. Okay, let's, if your hands find your foot, pull back on it, use a little that bicep strength to pull back, work those guns, <laughs> stretch your calf. All right, and then let that go and point. It's like you're trying to press the bottom of your foot into the ground, and now we're stretching through the shin, right? And if you're getting shin splints, you might just need to get a new pair of shoes. Right? I have a lot of people ask me about their shins are really hurting. You can go get fitted for shoes, that usually helps. Last breath, push the foot towards the ground, gentle. All right, pull it back up, last three, two. Okay, step it on back, downward facing dog. Place your hands, lift your hips up. Now, bend your right knee, press down through your left heel and hold it here. So I need about 15 or 20 seconds to hold and let that calf stretch. 
my calves are super tight, so I try to get these calf stretches in. But I should probably be doing more. <laughs> Switch your sides and hold it. Give those muscles time to open. Okay, and then bend both of your knees. Lift your butt way up towards the sky so you find more length through your spine. Keep your knees bent, your butt up, and press your chest up towards your thighs. Stretch your back. Okay, lower all the way down onto your knees. My favorite stretch, pigeon. Bring your right knee forward towards your right wrist. Pull that right foot a little further forward. Slide your left foot back and come on down. You're gonna hold here for about 30 seconds. Now the tendency is gonna to be to sit into your right side. You're gonna need a much better stretch if you get that left hip moving down towards the ground, okay? So it's like I could balance my ice cold glass of something on your low back, right? That it wouldn't tip over. Nice and even. Last breath or two here. If you want to make a pillow with your head, forearms on your forehead on your forearms. All right, come on back up onto your hands. Now go slow with the transitions. I don't want you to hurt your knee. So push down, use that strong abdominals to lift all the way back up to all fours and switch left knee forward and then shimmy that left foot a little further forward. If you want a deeper stretch, keep drawing it forward. Slide the right foot back. And once again, we don't want to be sinking into one side. Evenness through the right and left hip, okay? Come on to your forearms and breathe. As runners, we get really tight in those hips. Hips, hamstrings, all around in here, right? Because they're working really hard, which is good. But we want to keep our body mobile. So just taking 15 minutes is so, so good and so key, right? 15 short minutes a day or 15 minutes right after your run goes a long, long way, right? Bring your forehead down onto your forearms if that's available. And try not to round your spine a lot, right? I want the chest moving towards the ground. Okay, come on back up onto your hands. Remember, go slow, we're not in a hurry. Slide it back to all fours. Okay, turn wide on your mat. Now you might wanna pad up your knees with something. This is called happy frog. And I don't know many humans who are very happy in this pose, but it's good for us. So I'm gonna bring the knees wide apart. Now my feet, it's not like child's pose. Your feet are wide, right? So my ankles are right behind the knees. Crawl, crawl, crawl those knees further apart from each other and come down onto your forearms, okay? So you're more on your inner knees, not on the tops of your knees. And then you can let your forehead kind of hang, your head kind of hang down. And I want my hips right about in line with the knees. So we're stretching those inner thighs. So once again, all through the hips and thighs get Tight. And this is a really good one to hit those inner thighs, groins. It's a great one to do at, a, at the gym. <laughs> After you run on the treadmill. <laughs> you might get some crazy looks, but that's all right. Just put your headphones in and rock, rock it out. <laughs> Last breath here. <laughs> Come back up onto your hands. Bring your knees all the way back together. Oh my goodness, I kind of feel like you get stuck there sometimes. Okay, curl your toes under. Sit back onto your heels, right? So this is a stretch for the toes, the bottoms of the feet. And it might not happen that you're able to sit all the way back. You might be kind of forward a little bit, right? Especially the gentleman, typically the feet and the toes are a little more tight. So you might just be here. If it's available, you sit all the way back. And again, it's for toes. Sometimes you feel a stretch in the bottom of the feet, and over time, it becomes a release, compression for your calves. So just hang out here for like 20 more minutes. <laughs> I remember the first time I did this, I wanted to punch my yoga teacher in the face. <laughs> it hurts so bad. So it does get better over time. All right, 
Place your hands down. Uncurl your toes. Now this one also might be intense to sit back onto the heels. Now the heels are gonna wanna pop out to the sides. I want you to pull those heels in and now we're stretching again the tops of the feet, okay? Now you might stay here. You might place your hands on the ground behind you and this could also be enough. Now go slow, be careful. You start to lean into your toes, lift your heels. Oh, there we go, right there. Get the shins, the tops of the feet. Hold it for about two more breaths only. And if your knees don't lift up off the ground for this one, it's okay. You can just kind of hang here, right? And work with what you got. Okay. Lower those knees to the ground, but don't move from here yet. Getting into the quadriceps and hip flexors. Place your hands on the ground behind you. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. So puff your chest up towards the sky and let your head come back a little bit. So once again, this could be enough. If it's available, you start to lift your hips up a little bit. Press down through your knees, press down through your shins, and maybe you lift your hips up a little bit more. Lift your hips up a little bit more. And so you're getting the stretch through your quads, your hip flexors, and this is one you kinda gotta work for, right? Gotta work for it a little bit. Come on down. And we're gonna do that one more time, three, Two, one, lift your hips up, roll your shoulders back, puff your chest up. You can let your head come back. And you're really kind of almost tucking your tailbone to get that stretch through the hip flexors and quads. Okay, slowly lower it on down. Come on to all fours. Another calf stretch, really hitting those calves good today. Curl your toes under behind you and press your hips back. So push back through your heel. Three, two, one, switch sides. Curl your toes under, straighten your left leg, and press those hips back. Urgh. Kind of push your hands forward and away from you, looking for that stretch for your calf. Okay, come on back. Sit down onto your heels if that's available, or you can sit cross-legged. I'm gonna take your towel, interlace it, interlace it, hold it behind your back. And as we run, right, we get super strong in our biceps, which is great, in our abdominals. So we wanna stretch that out. So hold on to the towel, roll the shoulders open, work towards straight arms, and just lift those hands up away from you. Now you can stay here or hinge forward, let your forehead come to the ground and stretch. Lower your hands down. Come on all the way back up. All right, have a seat. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Cross your right foot over your left. Okay, and you're gonna draw the knee towards your opposite shoulder. So go ahead and hold on to the leg and pull your knee towards the opposite shoulder. I'm not super concerned with the twist here. I'm more looking for this stretch through your outer hip, your IT band. Lift your chest. A little taller and then maybe you work the knee into the elbow crease here and get a little bit deeper into it okay come on back through center and switch cross the left foot over so remember we do want to hold these stretches for at least 15 seconds pull the knee towards the opposite shoulder Ooh, this side's a little a little tighter. All right, so give it a good 15, 30 seconds. 30 seconds is ideal, right? Sometimes we tend to kind of pop through the stretches too quickly. So give it, give it a little bit of time for the muscles to open. Twist, twist, twist. Pull the knee towards the opposite shoulder. Okay, come on down. I'm saving the best for last. With your towel, Lay it all the way down onto your back. Switch sides. Lay it all the way down. Bring your right knee in towards your chest and with your towel or your t-shirt or a strap or whatever you've got, hook the strap, the towel around the bottom of your right foot. Now here's the bonus. You pull the 
toes towards you. Oh my goodness, I feel that all the way down through the back of my calf, my hamstrings. Try and let the shoulders relax. Ooh. All right, so instead of putting it around your heel or the center of your foot, I want the towel more up towards your toes or the ball mound of your foot and pull that down towards you. Get the back of the hips heavy, right? So don't let your butt curl up, back of the hips heavy. All right, switch your sides, go right into the left leg. Up, once again, have the towel right around the ball mound of the foot. Let the head and shoulders get heavier, relax the back of your neck, hold a lot of tension in our neck. And running is great, but it is pretty jarring on the body and it's a lot of impact. So you can feel kind of that stress and tension in your neck and shoulders, right? So just take some deep breaths and let the neck relax. You can even like I'm doing, kind of massage your neck with your other hand. Or if you have someone around, grab them and make them massage you. It's a great way to start talking to people at the gym. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have a massage, please? <laughs> okay, hook the towel around the bottom of your right foot. Bring this towel or strap, whatever you got, into your left hand, okay? Stretch your right arm out to the right. Just your butt, just your butt, not your shoulders. Pick it up and move it to the right a little bit. Okay, straight legs, lower it across. Oh yes. Twisting, great for the spine. You're getting this outer thigh T-band stretch. You're getting hamstrings. This is such a good one. Try and keep the right shoulder down and heavy. For my bendy friends, you don't have to use a towel. You can hold on to the foot. And for my stiffer, tighter friends, you just find a longer towel or something that's longer that gives you a little more leverage. All right, bend the knee. Bring yourself all the way back up through center. Switch your sides, right foot down, strap into the right hand, left arm out to the left. Now once again, just your butt, just your butt, move it over to the left, okay? Promise that helps the twist. Straighten your legs and take it all the way across. You want that left shoulder down now. All right, so IT band, outer hip, glutes, hamstrings. Such a good one to do. You can do this one in bed. Do this one in the morning. Breathe into it, twisting. Make sure you are just stretching for these 10 or 15 minutes after your runs. Come on all the way back up through center. It really, really helps. Hug your knees in. Outer edge of the feet, happy baby. This is another great one to do <laughs> at the gym. After you run outside, just right on the side of the road. <laughs> just go for it. You can hold the back of the thighs if holding the feet isn't available. All right, release that. And you guys are all done. If you have a little bit, I would take a nice couple minutes to do a Shavasana, just laying and relaxing on your back and letting your whole nervous system and muscles soften. But if not, I will see you next time. Namaste.